Hello! Today we're going to turn one of these transformer buzz box uh, arc welders and make it more like one of these DC welders using one of these. Come out. A rectifier that takes AC in and makes it DC out. So we'll wire that onto our little transformer here and we'll see how it welds. Well, first of all, we'll show you it welding, uh, you know, just as it is right now, and then we'll compare the two, well, three. AC, AC made into DC, and an actual DC welder. So, let's do that. So, here we have our rusty test metal, and it's equally rusty for all test purposes. Let me just spin around so I can see what I'm doing. So, box, Turned up as high as you go, which is somewhere around 100 amps, probably, on standard uh, 6013 stick electrode in the holder, and let's spark her up. Ow. Helps if you turn it onto the wall. Yeah, she's buzzing away quite happily. Put your glove on, David. Okay, well, once I got it started, but that's mostly the rusty metal's fault, not the welder's fault. The anti weld's not too badly. Let's give it another roll. Yep, well, okay, yes. Look at this shipping hammer. Just for the curious. Here we go, you see that? It's a reasonable weld. Let's scrape all that on the floor. Right, and now we'll convert it. He said, turning it off. We will add the bridge rectifier. Ah, <laughs> it's going to be hot. To add the bridge rectifier, what we do is we take right over here the two output leads, like that, of them. What's the bridge rectifier? There it is. We attach them to the AC input side. And then we, well, we can reattach these leads to the positive and negative output side. I might even put terminals on them. Right, let's do that. I should note this is just for testing that if you're going to mount this properly, it's got a metal base, it should be either heat synced or put it on something that's got a heat sink and a fan to draw the heat away, but we'll just use the workbench as a heat sink and then you can replace all your leads with nice, proper, high quality welding wire, if required. Alright, an assortment of uh, crimp on terminal lanes. What size are these? Splendid. Will the welding fire wire will the welding wire fit in there? Probably not. Alright, let's chop a bit off and find out. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
Right. Thank you, Crimps. So now we have our earth clamp and our electrode clamp, which we can attach to the DC output. Uh, short one, the electrode, not the electrode, the earth clamp. And we'll put that on the positive. I'll put the electrode holder on the negative. So we're welding DC electrode negative. DC electrode negative in there. Screw them, tighten them up. Okay, so to run over that again, AC welder, AC comes out, AC goes into bridge rectifier, DC comes out. I have the earth clamp attached to the positive side of the bridge rectifier and the electrode holder onto the negative side. Now we will fire it back up and run another pass on our scrappy bit of metal. Okay, well, I don't know if it sounded any different, but it certainly felt different. It looks mu very similar, it's much the same, but it, I, t I don't know how to explain this better, but it felt a nicer a nicer arc. I'll try doing a, a one in the corner as well. Just to keep it the same. You can still see? You can still see? Good taste. Oh, my hands in my, my own way. Now, let's see, <laughs> is the bridge hot? It's warm, the bridge is warm to the touch. This is a, it's a 200 amp rectifier, so we'll run about half of what it's supposed to be. But, just to... Remember people, I am not a welder. Not sure. Let's get a bit more light on that. So that's the DC one, and that's the AC in that one. It doesn't look much different. And all I can say is it slightly it welded slightly different. Starting still not as easy as a IGBT machine, but. So you can do it. The only thing is you're not getting a true DC flat. You're just getting a wave of, I will show you a picture of what I mean of, it's a wave of one of positive and a wave of negative. So at some point it is going back down to zero, but not crossing over and becoming AC. As opposed to the IGP, IGBT welder, which should give you a constant linear positive and negative. But it can be done. There you go. So that, 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 and it. 
that was only, I think it was £16 from Amazon for the rectifier. So £16 turns your AC buzz box into a DC. And I know you can add a capacitor to help smooth it out, but I don't know what value of capacitor you need for doing that. If anyone would like to leave in the comment section what size of capacitor would be good for this sort of application, please let us know and we'll try that as well. But no, I'm quite impressed. Last but not least, we'll give a little blast for our good old friend, the Sun Gold, just to show you what it looks like as well. Yes, the arc of that is even better again than using the bridge rectifier. But that almost is because that's given a pure DC wave and not a DC sign.